Yeah, anxious is one word. Parents here at Marvin Cameras also have a lot of questions, but they say information about what is going on has been limited. So in the meantime, students are being shuttled to and spending time at two other schools with what some say are limited learning resources. This is uh, the coloring. That's what they did. Diana Zeitner displays the classwork her three children have been doing for days now. It's their learning. They're, you know, they're basically in a small auditorium and they're watching videos, doing coloring. Activities filling time during her 7, 8 and 11 year old school day while sitting on the floor at Mary Lyon School. That's been their temporary place of learning since last Wednesday when officials say a mercury spill forced their school, Marvin Cameras, to shut down. Did you expect it was going to be this long? No. Cameras has been closed for seven full school days. And Zeitner says information about why cleanup from a barometer mercury spill is taking so long is scarce. It's not, an informa not enough information. I mean, there's something that seems like more to the story than we're getting. CPS officials say this letter was sent to Cameras' parents today, stating environmental crews have taken every step possible to ensure the building is safe and it should reopen Monday pending final clearance testing. My favorite thing is Jojo. All concerns to parents like Zeitner. Other concerns, both of her sons receive special education services. She wants to make sure those services aren't lost for anyone. For the parents with the IEPs, you know, just make sure your kids have their minutes that they need so they don't lose them. Just a few minutes ago, a CPS spokesperson said that Monday's opening is not set in stone because mercury cleanup or remediation can take some time. But what he didn't address were concerns about what the lesson plans would be and the special education minutes would be moving forward if cameras remains closed for longer. We're live in the Belmont Central neighborhood. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.